Okay, so you're gonna grab two socks and you're gonna put them one over the other and you're just gonna roll it up like that and then put everything into the sock like a ball. All right, here we have the materials for bottle bowling. We've got three plastic bottles and our sock ball that we just made. If all three of the bottles aren't the same, that's not a problem. And if you have more than three bottles, that's great too. But I'm gonna show you how to set it up if you only have three. The point is, you wanna put the bottles in a triangle. So I'm gonna put one down first and the other two behind and to the side. So I have a nice little triangle. Next, you want to pick a distance. I said five to 10 feet, but anything works, whatever's easiest or hardest, whatever you're looking for. If it's too hard, you can take a step closer. If it's too easy, you can take a step backwards. Once you're at a good distance, you're going to take your softball and try to roll it on the ground to knock over the pins the bottles in as few turns as possible. So I'm gonna roll and try to knock them all over. Great, I knocked over all of the pins, but if it takes you more than one try, keep going. Once you get them all over, switch turns with whoever you're playing with and see how long it takes them to knock the pins over. Whoever knocks the pins over and less turns wins. All right, so now we're gonna go over how to make bottle bowling a little more challenging. If you have a chair or stool laying around, I would use one of those. Using the chair for my kitchen table, we're going to set up the pyramid or the triangle with the bottles, just like we did. But this time, we're setting up the triangle on the chair or stool. Once again, you make the triangle and you wanna find the distance that's just right. And this time, instead of using the sock ball and rolling it on the ground, safely and carefully, we're going to toss the sock ball underhand like this, trying to knock over the bottles in as few turns, just like bottle bowling on the ground. If you knock all three bottles off the chair or stool, your turn is over because you win. If it takes more than one turn, try again. Once they're all knocked over, you can switch with whoever you're playing with and they can go. Whoever knocks the bottles off the chair or stool in the least throws wins.